start now by a review of the literature, which is uh, the first part of your thesis. Why should you bother review of the literature? Why should you do it? It represents an important part of your thesis, and it's the first part of your thesis. What you need to know is to overview what you and we know and what you don't know on a selected topic. يعني لو ابتديت تفكر في موضوع هتبقى عارف عنه بعض المعلومات، هت reinforce المعلومات دي وانت بتريفيو الليترتشر وبتدور في البيبرز وكمان في حاجات تانية هتعرفها ما كنتش عارفها عشان كده this is why it is important to do it and to do it before you start your research project. Where will you find it and where will you look for it? Journal, articles, books, thesis or dissertation, conference proceedings, reports, and on websites. Remember, this review must be selective, focused, relevant to the topic, capture the essence of current knowledge, and up to date. So let's start. You have to define what is your topic or your search questions, and then you work chronologically backwards. You have to collect the most recent research, identify the core literature, and classify and evaluate these papers that you collected, which work is classic, landmark papers, pioneering, or path-breaking. So you have to define your subject and the scope of this review. You have to search in the library databases to find the relevant sources. You have to read and evaluate which papers are suitable and which are not. And you have to analyze and interpret your findings and the conclusions of the sources you selected. So we'll start by collecting data. Where do you go? Either your hospital or university library. And the librarian will be very helpful, even in this era of electronic access. What's in the library? Classic books and up-to-date books. Journals. Remember, in your hospital library or university library, there will be internet computer terminals allowing you internet access, allowing you uh, to view, to do literature search and allowing you access to the journals in which the university or the hospital is subscribed to. And you can either save them on an electronic form as PDF files or print them in the library. We'll start by the online search engines. One of the most important, and it's free, is the Medline. It looks through databases of references and abstracts on life sciences and biomedical topics. Next is Google Scholar. Again, this is a free engine. However, on top of that, it looks into, includes books, conference papers, theses, dissertations, and preprints, not just abstracts. Something a little bit more specialized, the, the Cochrane Library. This library includes many papers about systematic review of healthcare interventions and diagnostic tests. So it's very focused on these. Whatever addresses a specific question and is peer reviewed, trusted, and this database is dynamic and updated. Who writes it and who collects the material and who takes care of it is 50 free review groups all over the world, composed of free 30,000 experts. The Web of Science, this is a subscription based and it's online. And again, it allows you access to over 50,000 books, 160,000 conference proceedings and citations from the year 1900. Scopus, again, this is subscription based, so it's not free. It is selective. It doesn't include all the papers that are published. It starts from 1996. It analyzes the research results and it compares journals and it allows you to view the secondary documents related to this research. Gray literature, 
we review interventions, the literature and literature that is not formally published in sources as books and journal articles. It will include governmental reports, conference proceedings, graduate dissertations, and unpublished clinical trials. Remember, if you are starting a clinical trial, maybe someone did this clinical trial previously, but it has been aborted because of a high mortality rate or high complication rates. It will not be published in the literature. However, the unpublished uh, results, you will find them on gray literature, that this has been started and stopped because of high mortality rate or high complication rate. So it alerts you not to carry on doing it. Perhaps choose another research question or another topic. And at last, but this is the eviction knowledge bank. This is uh, an institution based through the email given to you by your university or hospital. You will be allowed free access and includes many uh, valuable uh, sources like Clinical Key, Web of Science, Cochrane Library, uh, Incision Academy. It'll save your uh, publishing group and it will allow you access to not only search engines but many papers. Now then, you have to retrieve your articles. You've done your, research, your search online and you defined which articles or books you're going to look into and now you have to retrieve them. Where from? First, the library, especially books and journals to which the library is subscribed. Open access journals, there are journals online that are free and you can access the whole article, not just the abstract. If your institution, university, or hospital have subscriptions, or through the Egyptian Knowledge Bank, you can access through your colleague who's subscribed, or you might have your own subscription uh, to one of your favorite, one or two favorite journals in your subspecialty that you would uh, read regularly, or through some, through some free resources like uh, LibGen. Now then, you collected the material, now you need to evaluate them. You will collect most of the papers needed, and then you will under identify classic and up-to-date information. Then you should look into your own work or your search question. Is it original, or is it complementary to what we already know, or it's additional to current information? And this will form the basis of your discussion. When you, when you have when you've written your results next step you did your research you collected your papers then you will start writing the review you have to review divide your review into sections the exam it has to be focused it has to be concise brief but comprehensive to the point relevant to your topic Remember, not more than one third to one half of your thesis should be the review of the literature. Your own work should be the main bulk of your thesis. يعني مش عايزين الطالب يكتب textbook to review the literature هو محتاج يبقى مركز و relevant to the point ولا يمثل أكتر من تلت وبكتير نص الرسالة مش أكتر من كده. Then you will prepare a list of papers for each section. كل جزء من ال review هتحط هتحط على جنب the papers اللي هي relevant لهذا ال الجزء. Then you'll prepare a list of diagrams for each section. Then you're gonna cite the reference Vancouver style. And you will do manual write numbering or better software assisted numbering. زي مندلي وده هشرحها الدكتور شمع بغاني بالتفصيل أو end notes. وانت بتكتب الليترتشر بتحط الريفرنسز ولو استعملت سوفت وير اسيستنج نمبرينج هيرقم الريفرنسز بتاعتك حسب وجودها في التكست لو حصل ان انت شلت جزء من التكست هتشيل معاه ريفرنس هو هيعمل اوتوماتيك ري نمبرينج لو جيت في النص زودت شابتر زودت باراجراف زودت سكشن وهتضيف ريفرنس جديده هيعمل اوتوماتيك ري نمبرينج 
الموضوع ده مهم جدا لان كل واحد بيكتب الرساله ويروح يوديها للمشرف وبعدين يغيروا فيها حاجات يقول لك يا وانا لسه هعيد ترقيم الابحاث تاني وتبقى مشكله كبيره استماد السوفت وير اسيستد نمبرنج المندلي وريموف اول ذس هاس ليتس لوك ات ان اكزامبل وات ار ذا ريليفنت سيكشنز اوف يور ريفيو anatomy biomechanics pathology etiology clinical presentation investigations treatment and the result of different methods of treatment right shall we take an example haga zan meniscal repair look into the anatomy and the shape and the attachments histology and chemical composition biomechanics and the function of the meniscus classification of meniscal tears healing of the meniscus how are you going to diagnose it and how are you going to treat it And what are the results? Now then, as you write your thesis, you have to write short sentences, short paragraphs. The font neither small nor large. Uh, use something familiar like Times New Roman, size 12. Uh, don't use single spacing. Use uh, 1.5 or uh, double spacing. Leave four centimeter gutters on both right and left sides, uh, or a, 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 a right gutter four centimeter, علشان التجليد أو التدبيس, with two centimeters on the top left and the bottom. And remember, you have to number your pages. Very important to put the numbers in the bottom. Now, then, as you write, you'll find. Please pay attention to headings and subheadings. A heading is the main title of this section, for instance. A subheading is a, in the name of the paragraph. As you can see, generating power and like wastewater. Uh, and under a, a main subheading, there are some, uh, this will be followed by some uh, subheadings in the same uh, article. Now then, English. Okay, we all know English is not our mother tongue. Arabic is our mother tongue, but you have to write good English. You can uh, help yourself by asking one of your colleagues to review your work and correct it and proof it for you. Or you can go to the School of English to learn how to improve your skills of reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Now then. When you're using Word, remember there is an, uh, a dictionary built in and autocorrection. So sometimes if you look for these examples, color and color, this is the uh, English way of writing it, this is the American way. Same like gray or gray with an A or an E. But beware that sometimes this autocorrection could uh, uh, cause trouble. It could write would instead of could, or find instead of find. So although that these words will not be uh, underlined as wrong, they could be the wrong words as autocorrection, correct them, uh, based on as you are writing, as you are typing. So be very aware. خلي بالك ممكن الautocorrection يكتب كلمة بدل اللي انت أصلا عاوزها بسبب بسبب تشابه الكلمات. Punctuation marks, very important. We hardly pay attention to them. But remember when to put a full stop, a comma to separate items like black, white, and yellow. If you're writing these three words, you have to separate them by a comma. A hyphen is very important. Instead of writing intra-articular as one word, you can write intra and then put a hyphen and then articular. Use diagrams and reference them in the text. For instance, you have to mention where did you get this picture from? You have to put a reference as well as this one and anything that is not yours. Avoid plagiarism, otherwise your work or your paper will be rejected. Now then you have to finally revise it. You've written all the sections of your review of the literature. Make sure all the relevant information is included. This proper sentence and paragraphing, diagrams are clear and 
adequately referenced, formatting is correct, spelling and grammar, punctuation, citation, and referencing. And it's always helpful, again, if you ask a friend or a colleague to proofread it for you, who've never read it before, you will be surprised the amount of corrections you contributed to your work. Now, how many pages? And all a review of the literature, مفروض ما يزيدش عن النص ويستحسن يبقى التلت. فهو a review of the literature مش ب مش ب مش بعدد الصفحات ولا بالكمية. Remember that the paper, that this uh, landmark paper that described the RNA and DNA was written in one page in Nature in 1953. فهو مش بعدد الصفحات ولا بكبر الرسالة. So in summary, review of the literature is the first part of the thesis. When to do it, you have to do it early. بعد ما تكتب ال ال research plan بتاعتك لازم تبتدي تكتب the review of the literature قبل ما تعمل الرسالة. مش تكتبها في الآخر بعد ما تخلص الرسالة. لأن في knowledge كتيرة هتلاقيها في review of the literature أنت ما كنتش عارفها. It's very important to know before you start working on what you know after you finish. So your review has to be relevant, concise, and focused. Not more than one half to one third of your thesis. Remember, you have to collect all the data and abstracts through search engines. Evaluate your data. Of course, you can collect 200 papers, but after the evaluation, you can collect, for example, 90 papers. Retrieve all the whole articles that you need, the recent and the classic. لازم جزء من ال references بتاعتك تبقى حديثة. يعني مش معقولة بتعمل رسالة سنة 2021 وأحدث reference مثلا سنة 2000. في 20 سنة فرق ما جبتش فيهم أي reference حديث. يستحسن طبعا يبقى reference سنة 19, 18. عشرين if possible سبعة عشر لكن مش معقولة هيبقى أقدر ريفرنس عندك أو the most recent هيبقى سنة ألفين وعشرين now revise and reference your work accurately and at the end print print and produce again remember you have to write your review of the literature once you write your research plan as soon as possible in the beginning of your research project not at the end Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Khalid Fawzi. Uh, this was really a helpful uh, lecture in writing uh, the first part of the, <coughs> the uh, main part of the one third or one half of the thesis.